Um, I thought it was uh, good. I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to get better, to be honest with you. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to you know, kind of gauge myself off of Redick and things that he does you know, so differently, and it's kind of a style change that I'm trying to convert myself to do 18 years later. Is that um, something that you had an inkling when he came over to Toyota that he would bring some different things, or have you been surprised in meetings with him looking at his style, like, oh, wow, he has a different approach? Yeah, he has a different approach for sure. And, and you know, my in a simulator this week, I just kind of sat in on a session and watched him and then tried to emulate it, you know. And I did. I was just a few seconds off. Is there a preferred lane on the twos here? Uh, I, I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. Um, you know that it's interesting. I, I know there was just a couple of people on social media that wanted to choose, but I, I don't know why we have it here. It's just doesn't make much sense and um, I think we just kind of got pressured into it. Yeah, at least consi okay. the consistent rules across for all yeah, races kind of helps, doesn't it? Every track's different, right? But I mean, the difference is the main spotters can't see it uh, and it's hard to see on the racetrack, but um, we'll, we'll adapt. We'll be fine. Kind of an obvious question, but not having the stops for the stages. How do you expect that to play out? Is that something you like in a room? Um, again, I think we got pressured in this one. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I think this thing has potential to really get strung out, like, a lot. And so, it's, you know, if we do, then don't want to hear any complaining about these things being uh, strung way out. And, and uh, you know, because it's, that's the potential. You know, we had stages, um, certainly road courses. You know, this will make for more uh, strategy. But if you're 10 seconds behind the car in front of you and 10 seconds behind you, Strategy is not going to matter a ton. Does not having stage breaks any change anything for you as the driver as far as how you approach the race, how you push, trying to figure out when to push, when not to push? That yeah, it will. I mean, certainly preparation. I, I said to myself coming in after practice that, like, better stay hydrated on this one. It's, it's going to be um, definitely tough physically if it stays green. Cindric said it's also just a physically challenging racetrack. Agree. Yeah, it definitely is for sure. It's, you know, very technical. It's got some technical parts. It's got some long straightaways that you, know, you got to hit your marks everywhere on this racetrack, or else time really can compound. So, uh, agree with that. But if everybody's slipping and sliding, and it's a technical racetrack, shouldn't there be cautions? Uh, not really, because everyone's gonna. I mean, I, I think you'll probably see a little bit quicker trigger to full course cautions. To be honest with you, that's that's really the only thing that will be different. You alluded to it, but what are your personal preferences on having no stage to the road course? Um, yeah, no, I, I don't think so. We, we, we improved the sport when we got stages. Um, it was well thought out. Um, the, the point system that goes with it, all that is, is, is good. And, you know, the, we did this for, to help TV. And, and obviously, you need to have somewhat of a break. Um, again, if you don't like some races that, you know, if you don't like the old Atlanta, you won't like no stage racing at all tracks because it can really get strung out like that if you, uh, if you let it. Do you know when your appeal is? Uh, April 6th. Is that good? I mean, is that, there's been a lot of chatter on social media, like, why well, can't it just be the following week? But I mean, does it matter? I've been available. Uh, they have to plan and travel for themselves and for, uh, you know, whoever the panel is. So, you know, again, I, in, you, you just never know with everyone's schedule. Jared Haas with FrenchStretch.com. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check one of those two videos out that we have right beside you. Visit FrenchStretch.com for more great content.